reach the dams. Well, that's our prayer. We want our salmon relatives to be able to swim in clean water. The same water that flows through you is out there. We say, I am Picoon, I am water. The Nez Perce, the Nimi Pu, in exchange for millions and millions of acres of land, were guaranteed one thing, a simple way of life, and that is to have fish. And that is what we're trying to do today, is ensure that we're going to have fish for the next seven generations. Our most current issue right now that we're dealing with is reaching of the four lower snake dams and we feel that the salmon recovery is not producing the results that we would like to see. All of these streams used to have active and, and robust populations of fish. Removing the four lower snake dams would make a lot of sense for the salmon and for the cultures and the people of this basin, both indigenous and non-indigenous. It's really inspirational to see all you people come here. It shows that we have this strength, whether it's tribal or non-tribal, to protect an asset of the waters and breach or remove the dams to make sure that for the future generations that we have this water free flowing. And so I'm really thankful and grateful that you all showed up here today. It's been a survival thing for us natives for so long. It's a blessing to have so many people involved. And I'm here again in support of the Nez Perce, the salmon, and the free-flowing water. We thrived on these hunting and gathering rights that we had in the past, and it's just changing so much now that we had to start this organization called the Mipu Protecting the Environment to see if we can regain some of the ground that we have lost. My cousin over to the valley, she cans eels, she, she fries them, she does all sorts of things. I don't have that capacity anymore over here. We've lost that. The fish aren't coming back in numbers that would allow us to have salmon as part of our daily meals if we wanted to. This event is important to the Nimipu and to everyone that lives in this area. Water shapes us all. It shapes the land that we live on. It shapes the way that we feel about ourselves, our health, our lives, everything. It's important that there are so many different groups coming together. I'm so excited. Other people are working on this with us because it makes us stronger when we're together. It was incredible today, just the collection of people that came together. We just did a huge float with 300 boats on the water, hundreds of people all calling to free the snake and take these low value, high cost dams out. There's a wave happening that I haven't seen in a lot of years. We're here together, unified in solidarity. And in that solidarity, what we're finding with one another is that we're agreeing on a lot more other things too. We're more unified than we thought we were, and we're more unified today than we ever have been. We're involved with Friends of the Clearwater because we also need them as a partnership to, to work on some of these issues because they have some of the tools that we don't have and we have some tools that they don't have. Doing these things is an effort to try and save what we do have left and try and bring back things that we can bring back while breaching the dams, bringing the salmon home, and really working with the Nimipu and people that have been here forever and will be here forever. We got blood pumping through our veins, and I like to think that that blood that's pumping through our veins is like the salmon in the river. We need to give them space, and by giving them space, they will come home. I believe as a mother, it's my responsibility to show my children that there are specific roles that they have as far as being a good family member. Doing things like this, participating in taking care of grandma water is important. We look at this water that we're trying to protect. It's very similar to No Dakota Access Pipeline. They're fighting to protect the water of the Missouri River. That's for 18 million people. And it's not just those 18 million people, it's the seventh generation of all of those 18 million people. We're fighting in one part of our country where my mom's people are from, the Lakota, to stop a snake. And here in the land of my father's people, in the Pacific Northwest, we're fighting to free a snake. What we're asking is for all indigenous people to hear our voice, come help us, come be with us, come fight these snakes. We need you, we need you now. It's gonna take all of us working together 
to get this message to free the snake to the government and to our elected leaders. So we're calling on everyone to come together, the recreation community, the rafters, the fishermen, the commercial fishermen, coastal communities, inland communities, the indigenous allies that we work so closely together. We all have to come together and if we do that, we're gonna be able to make a difference here and free the snake. All the people, the natives, non-natives, everyone, to become aware of what's going on around you. Check your waters, check the corporations that are upstream from you, see if they're complying with the Clean Water Act. What we're doing here is fighting for our great, 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 great grandchildren to have this river in as healthy of a state as we can leave it in. We want to leave it better when we were here, and obviously now we can do that. By breaching those dams, we'll restore a free-flowing river, we'll restore health to it, we'll restore the salmon runs. We fish, we hunt, we dig, and so you take away one aspect of that, and it kind of shortchanges the person. And spiritually, we need to keep that connection, and we can't continue to exploit it. And I know a lot of times people don't want to talk about the spiritual side of it, but that really is what it is. We're talking about spirituality and, and sacredness of everything, so we want to bring some of those traditional values back in our environmental management. We're sharing songs, we're sharing our prayers, and we're sharing our way of life. It feels good. I'm glad to be here. It's just very powerful to you know, work with the indigenous peoples, the Nez Perce, the other tribes, because they feel for the salmon so deeply, and they know these rivers so deeply. It's been an honor to work with them. I would love to see our children have a free-flowing Lower Snake River. I intend to use whatever power and influence I have to help this cause. Our camp is open. We're asking for all of you to come to the ceremony to restore the Snake River. I hope to see all of our camps together, united in this fight to restore the health of the Snake River. Hey, ho, hey.